Tornadoes are giant weather systems that cause the air to go around and around. Tornadoes can be pretty dangerous, but they don't happen that often. Here's how you can make your own small pet tornado you can play with at home. Because air and water behave similarly, we can make a water tornado. You spin it around, get it going, and ta-da, your very own pet tornado. Here's how you do it. You take two two-liter plastic bottles and fill one with water and some blue food coloring, is what I like to do, and then tape the mouths of the bottles together. You might need an adult to help you with this because you want to make sure the bottles are perfectly aligned. Then flip it over, spin it around to get it going, and voila, your very own pet tornado. Awesome. And now we're going to max it out with a giant tornado chamber. Hey, Michaela. Hey. So this is your giant tornado. It's amazing. Yeah. So I made one with uh, plastic bottles and water, cool. but this one uses air, just like real tornadoes do in the wild. That's right. So how does this work? <laughs> well, um, here we have a platform, but underneath that there's a fog machine that's pushing the fog up. And we've created an updraft because there is a fan at the top that's pushing air out of the top. And also, we're trying to mimic the intense winds you'd get from a tornado with these pillars that are shooting out air in this direction. So it goes around in a circle. Yeah, in real life, uh, tornadoes are pretty rare. You need a perfect set of conditions to see them. You need warm, humid air and cold, dry air. And as well, some intense winds that you usually get from thunderstorms. Science! <laughs> My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. 